What's up superstars? In this video, we're gonna be covering print on demand and why you should or shouldn't use print on demand in 2023. Now print on demand or POD is a business model that allows individuals or companies to sell custom designed products without the need for inventory or upfront costs. While POD has gained popularity in the recent years, it is essential to consider both advantages and disadvantages before deciding whether to use it in 2023. Now in this video, I'm also gonna be covering two types of PODs. Number one, POD is what we're used to hearing, which is print on demand. It is when you capture the sale and then outsource the job to a printing company to help fulfill that order. You're essentially drop shipping to your customer. The other POD is press on demand. This is where DTF comes into play. This is where you already have the blanks on hand as well as the transfers. And once you make that sale, you are basically pressing onto the garment and shipping it out. And there are advantages and disadvantages of both. And we'll cover that in this video. Now reasons to use print on demand in 2023, low initial investment. One of the significant advantages of print on demand is the low barrier to entry. Unlike traditional manufacturing methods, print on demand does not require large upfront investments in inventory and equipment. When we used to screen print 100% of the time, you would need to deal with minimum orders to even make it worth it to burn a screen. Screens are expensive and they only make sense if you're doing large volume. Also keep in mind, each additional color is an additional screen that's needed. This really adds up to the cost of the brand. And by doing print on demand, this makes it a very attractive options for entrepreneurs or small businesses with limited capital. Now, what are the advantages of print on demand? Wide product range. Print on demand platforms offer wide range of customizable products, including t-shirts, hoodies, hats, leggings, mugs, and much more. This allows the seller to cater to various customer preferences and target specific niches. Now, flexibility and scalability. Now, with print on demand, sellers can easily test different designs and products without the risk of excess inventory. The biggest issue that I found with screen printing is that a lot of folks really don't know how many of each size is needed. They would end up just doing 20 of each size from size small to 2XL for about 100 pieces, and they end up having so many extra leftover smalls and 2XLs. With print on demand or POD, it offers the flexibility to adapt to changing market trends and customer demands. Print only what is needed. Additionally, as the business grows, print on demand platforms can handle the production and shipping processes, allowing the seller to focus on marketing and of course, customer service. Now, what are the reasons not to use print on demand in 2023? Well, limited control over production. When using print on demand, sellers rely on printing and fulfillment services provided by the platform. For example, sites like Printify and Gelato they use a network of printers to fulfill your order. Sometimes the quality is not consistent. This means they have limited control over the production process, including quality control and shipping times. Any issue that arises during production or shipping can directly impact the seller's reputation. Some printers use DTG, some use DTF, and there can be a lot of inconsistencies between your prints because you're basically ordering from shop A this week and then you're making a reorder that's printed from shop B. Your customer may, want to, may try to match their initial order, but have the results come out totally different. Lower profit margins. While print on demand eliminates the need of inventory costs, the profit margins can also be lowered compared to traditional manufacturing methods. The printing and fulfillment services provided by print on demand platforms come at a price, reducing the overall profit per sale. You might just have an order of one to five units and have to pay for shipping on those units, which really adds up. Now market saturation. The popularity of print on demand has led to an increased competition resulting in market saturations for certain product categories. It can be challenging to stand up among numerous sellers offering the same products, requiring sellers to invest in marketing and unique designs to differentiate themselves. Now dependence on third party platforms. Using print on demand means relying on third party platforms to handle production, fulfillment, and customer service. Sellers are subject to policies and terms set by these platforms, which may change over time. 
any policies or disruptions in the platform's operations can significantly impact the seller's business. Imagine your customer having an issue with the product they just received. Chances are if you're using print on demand method, you didn't even get a chance to see the product before it was shipped out to your customer. Most of the time, you just need to take a hit on that issue and try to fix that unhappy customer. This is where DTF press on demand can have a huge advantage. Instead of just outsourcing all your orders to a POD company, one way to reduce costs and also have a grip on your quality is to have a set of popular blanks that you already want to roll with and have a bunch of printed transfers on hand. If you store these in a dry and dark environment, they will last a very long time. Try using silica gel packages. Thank me later for that. Once you actually sell the design, you can press on demand with your DTF. You won't have extra lingering smalls and 2XLs. You will just create what is needed. You will see and feel the quality before it ships out. This means you can control the product and your store can focus on growth and positive reviews. In conclusion, the decision to use print on demand in 2023 depends on various factors, including specific business goals, available resources, and market conditions. While it offers advantages such as low initial investments and flexibility, sellers should also consider limitations and potential challenges associated with relying on third-party platforms and, of course, lower profit margins. So let me know what you guys think, what you guys are doing. Are you guys doing DTF? Are you guys ordering from a third-party fulfillment? And how are you guys are liking this process so far? Are there any benefits that I'm missing in this process? Let me know your thoughts. And if you guys are doing DTF, have you guys seen our video on heat press pressure? It is such an important factor when you're trying to deliver good quality products. So if you guys haven't seen that heat press presser video, make sure you guys watch that video. And if you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys smash that like button and share it with a friend. My name is Phil. I'm out. I'll catch you guys on that next one.